Shelley Marie and I'm going to show you how you can take some other brands of acrylic air dry paint when you're doing your reborning and adapt it into our new uh, paint system from McPherson Arts and Crafts called the Reborn FX paint line. So what I've got here is I've got uh, Liquitex acrylic paint and this is a tube paint and I put a little blob in there just to show you how thick it is and I've got a brush and I've got distilled water in there and I want to show you how when you take the uh, thick paint and you add water, which is normally what you would do with the, with the acrylic system, is it, it, it resists from your vinyls and from your plastics. And if I take uh, this little sample here and show you, you'll see it will go on and then if you wait a while, if you're not still playing with it, it will start resisting adding lines and little bubbles in there. And if you're using a sponging method, you would uh, pounce, pounce, pounce until that bubbling would go away. But with our uh, Reborn FX paints, we don't do that. We have a medium in there that does not resist from our plastics and vinyls and has a great adhesive added into it. So in order to make the uh, paints adaptable and use it with your Reborn FX paints, what you're going to do is you're going to take our paint emulsion. And this is basically paint with uh, no pigment in it. So what you're going to be doing is adding the pigment from your other paints into this emulsion. Now I'm just going to add just enough that I want it to the consistency that I would like the paint to be. So I'm just going to take my brush here and add a little bit of paint right into that emulsion and as you can see it nicely blends right in there's no uh, resistance or no particles it nicely dissolves right into that emulsion and uh, then it's ready to basically be applied so you can apply it with a brush if that's your method and then take a damp sponge here and you can pounce on top just to get the, uh, you want as normal, everything needs to be very transparent. So you would play with that. And as you can see, there's no water resistance there. It's gone on quite nice and it's very diluted down to the consistency that I want it to be. So that's uh, if you have a Liquitex uh, acrylic uh, tube paste method. Um, our paints will also go on top. Once you uh, put the pigments into our emulsions with the Reborn FX, it becomes adaptable quite, uh, quite simply that way. Uh, I also have Miracle Blend here, and it actually works the same way. It, uh, it comes out, it's not as thick as the tube paints, it's very watery, but it's high pigment. So again, all I'm going to do is take some paint emulsion. Always shake these. Add some pigment to it. Clean up my brush here. That's better. Take some of that pigment, put it into our emulsion. And this happens to be a crease color to paint it on. As you can see, there's no resistance there. Take one of my sponges. That's a little bit too damp there. And come in just very lightly over top. Now that may be diluted down a little bit too much, so I'll add a little more pigment into there. This is a preference on how much pigment you like to put onto things. That's a little bit better. Take one of the a bit drier sponge there. There we go. And you can see it goes on again and there's no blends in. There's no water resistance there, and it sticks on to our paints quite nicely. You don't get any streaks or any bubbling or that happening. Uh, the other brands uh, we've tried also are uh, the Art and Magic uh, Waterborne uh, paint colors. Um, these are really nice uh, colors that are coming in this system and it's nice to be able to take the colors that you really do like and adapt it into our system as well. I'm going to take a clean brush here. Take a little bit of their pigment out. Add a little bit of the uh, paint emulsion again from the line. As 
so you can see that's a really nice nice pink that uh, they have there that I do like. Again, you can see as I'm stirring all of these, I'll do this up a little closer, there's no pilling, it's mixing right into the emulsions quite nicely. And then you can paint it on or sponge it on, whatever your preference is. And I can show you up close again, you can see there's no no resistance there. It's staying right on the way you put it on. Then take one of your sponges or what other, other uh, brush texture you want to put on there and it goes on quite nicely onto, this, onto that system. Also we've done it with the LDC paints. And they come out in a little bit of a liquid uh, paste form. Another brush here. And uh, I'll use this color here. That's our pure form. Now you can see that's very, very opaque. And uh, you want it to be transparent with our reborning techniques here. So that's our, again, our reborn FX paint emulsion. Taking a little bit of the LDC paint pigment, I'm putting it into the emulsion. The other thing I should also mention is our emulsions, our, our emulsions also have a UV protectant in it. So it will help the paints uh, stop fading away on you as, as it ages. Okay, and into that. And as you can see, again, there's no water resistance there. It sticks right to the paint quite nicely. And you can, that, that sponge is a little bit too much on the damp side. There we go. And yes, you can see you can pounce on there and blend as you want. You've got a little bit of open time with the paint emulsion as well. So it does give you some time to blend and to kind of play the way you want that to go on to your vinyls. Uh, the other system that you may want to use as well that we've also tried is also with the uh, Josonia Artist Squashes. They, uh, they go on quite nicely and they mix quite nicely in with the emulsions as well. Now the only thing about the Josonia paints you should know about is they can reactivate because there's a very, there's hardly any binder or drying uh, agent in there for a quick dry process. Um, and what I'll show you here, oh, I want some paint emulsion. Just show you that it does mix in there without doing any funny stuff. Quite nicely mixed. This is a magenta color that I brought out. Now once, I should also mention, uh, once you have these mixed in with the emulsions, I can take any of these colors, because they've got a same base, and I can mix them together. So if I wanted to mix a little bit of that LDC in with the acrylic uh, gouache from Josonia, you can do so, and see there's no resistance there. It mixes quite nicely, and you can see there's no resistance just by by uh, showing you on the palette here, it's mixed, it's not pilling, it's not beating up, it's all staying together, and that's what we like. So that would be ready to, to go on to the vinyls as well, the same way as the other ones went on, and you can pounce it and blend it as needed. Now what I was about to tell you was with uh, Joe Sonia's gouaches, you do have to uh, be careful in within the 24 to 48 hour drying period of curing with them, they will um, come off or reactivate themselves. It, they don't come off after the 48 to hour uh, period. Some take uh, 48 to 72 hours depending on what color you're using. But after that period they'll all be permanent. But as you are doing layer on layer you may want to be aware of that because I'm going to, this is a, the Joe Sonia I was working with about, this is about a three hour old. And as you see it will reactivate with water, so with a bit of pressure. So you do have to be careful with that. You can add layers on a, as you go, but uh, just be careful with uh, with adding too much pressure to it. You'll rub the Josonia paints off until they're at a cured 
uh, base. Now if you put our emulsion in there, I will tell you that this does not happen. So that's one advantage with the emulsions from the Reborn FX is uh, you won't get that reactivation happening with them. So that tells you a little bit of how adaptable the uh, Reborn FX paints are just by using our paint emulsion. The other one you can also use along with it is a paint dilutant because that will make uh, some of your paste um, pigments a little bit more watery if you so choose to uh, make it thinner. So hopefully you'll have some fun with that and it's also a nice way of using up some of your old paints that you still have on hand. Thank you.